I started uh, using a cast iron skillet about three years ago, and as I said, these things last forever. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, how much you use them, as long as they're maintained properly, you know, they, they will last forever. My dad has one. Uh, he had it since he was 16 years old. He's 66 and still looks brand new. He's maintained this thing for a long time. And it is, I mean, it's like his third child, to be honest with you. He <laughs> loves this thing. Um, so this is my cast iron. This one was about three years old, like I said. And you can see, I just seasoned it so it's real shiny and everything like that. But the first thing you'll notice about these things is how heavy they are. These things are super heavy. That, would, that helps with the durability with them. Um, and that brand in particular is a Lodge brand. And the reason why I bought this brand was because in the cookbook, Good Eats by um, Alton Brown, he has a blurb in there about how Lodge is the only company in this country that makes a cast iron skillet. All of the rest of them are made outside of the country. So I always try to buy American made whenever I can. And this is one of these instances. Uh, so the benefits to using a cast iron skillet is, as I said, durability and also the versatility. These things, you can take them camping, uh, you know, they go from the stove top to the oven, no problem. But the biggest thing is, is you're not limited to just cooking meats and vegetables. You can also use them for soups, breads, desserts. These things can be used for anything. Anything you can do in a pot or pan, you can do in a cast iron skillet. Uh, the other thing is, it overall, to me, it just cooks food better. After you have them for a while, uh, you know, their flavoring gets built in there, your seasoning, you know, starts to marinate with the pan and they will actually taste food better and better each time you, you know, you use them to cook. So there's many types of uh, cast iron skillets and so this one here, I, I would cook with, there's, this one here is a skillet, obviously, and they've got Dutch ovens, I have a Dutch oven, they have muffin tins, they have, you know, grill pans, anything, again, you can have with a potter pan, you can, you know, get in a cast iron skillet. Um, how much do they cost? They can cost anywhere from $20 on up. You can get ones that are refurbished. You can get ones that, you know, may have a little rust on them, but if you just clean them up, uh, they will they'll be brand new. They, they don't die unless you, unless you just mistreat them. I mean, it's almost like a living person that way. Um, the places you can buy them, uh, online obviously, but if you're like me, you like to have the product in your hand, you can buy them at Kohl's, you can buy them at, you know, Meyer. you can buy them at Bed Bath & Beyond, any department store that sells cookware, you can buy a cast iron skillet. There's another place in Blue Mound, it's called Iron Star. If you're into cast iron skillet, this is the place to go. They have wall to wall, nothing but cast iron. They have cast iron going all the way back to the 1800s. And it's anywhere from $10 on up to like, he has one and they're like $700 at the stove. And he refurbishes himself when he can get to them or also just sell them as is. But he will not sell anything that he doesn't believe can be reused. So maintaining a cast iron has gotten a lot of uh, there's a lot of mist behind it. The ca cast iron isn't made the way it used to be made, so it's a little easier to, to uh, clean and to maintain. So uh, I'm gonna show you a video, and it's just a quick video. It's less than a minute on how to clean them. And so this is just putting, uh, this is just kosher salt they're putting in there, and then they dump a little water in there. And you want to use kosher salt, salt because it's very coarse and kind of gets that food off there and stuff. And you just take a brush or a rag and you just kind of scrub. You want to scrub in a circular motion. Um, you don't want to scrub up and down because it's like a CD. It'll ruin it that way. And then you want to heat it up. And the reason why you want to heat it up because water gets into the cracks, gets into the crevices. And if you don't heat it up, the water will stick on there and you'll have uh, rust body. So you see little rust spots everywhere. That's because the water's not being all the way put, put in there. Uh, right there, they're seasoning them, and I'll go into that more later because they really don't go into it. And um, and basically, what seasoning is is you take a a uh, fourth cup of oil and you put it to the top, you know, you, or a quarter inch of oil. You put it in the pan. You heat the pan up for about 300 degrees, 
and for an hour, you pull the pan out and you wipe out all the excess oil, you get it all off of there and you wipe out the whole pan, the, the handle, the bottom, everything you put on there. Because what you're doing is you're not only adding flavor, but you're putting a coat to kind of keep it from rusting. And that's how that cast iron will lasts for so long. And this book here, The Professional Chef, is an excellent resource for this. This is a, uh, a uh, cookbook or a uh, textbook from the Culinary Institute of America. Um, I love this thing, this is a great reference book, but there's a section in here about how to clean and maintain cast iron, and this is from world-renowned chefs, and they use cast iron all the time, so there's a bunch of different chefs that wrote this book, and it's a good resource book if you're ever picking up. This book here, as I was talking about, for the desserts, there's a section in here, this is a good cookbook if you've never um, use cast iron, it's a good cookbook to start off with because it gives you basic techniques and steps like that, how to use and maintain it. Um, but there's a section in here that talks about desserts where, you know, if you want a kind of a harder crust on the bottom, softer, you know, texture in the middle, cast iron is a perfect cookware for that because you can literally slide it into the oven once you put it on the stove top, let it set up there, slide in the oven, and it'll finish the way the texture you want it. So there are things that can destroy a cast iron. They're not totally indestructive. Um, one is thermal cracking. If you take a hot pan, put it underneath cold water, it will crack it right in half and it'll be real. And just, there's nothing that can be done about that. The other thing is rust. And I talked about rust on that video just a little bit. Um, even if it rusts, it's not bad. It, you can scrape it off. You can get it off there. You can grind that cast iron down to where you get deeper and deeper into the, uh, into the, you know, the problem areas. Then you reseason. It's brand new. It's good as new. Um, so just to reiterate, the reason why I love them so much, and I think more people should use them, is the durability, the versatility, and to me, they all overall cook food better. And the other thing is too is if you're looking for a Christmas gift, Christmas coming up. You got some family member, a friend that's into cooking, looking for something like twenty dollar uh, gift. Give them a cast iron cookware. I guarantee you, they're they're gonna appreciate it. Thank you.